Hi class. Okay, uh, the networking project is run on the software known as Cisco Packet Tracer, and that software file is already placed in your project file folder. To open that software, you uh, you uh, you use the to open the link, just like this. Go to the project Cisco Packet Tracer 6.2 for Windows. Double tap on it to install the software. Uh, go for yes and this will start the installing process the next again I accept the agreement then go for next 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 create a quick launch also create make it checked next install and this process start the installing process in this machine wait for a few seconds to complete the installation process it hardly make two or three minutes not more than that It's done. Go for finish, and this tool automatically. I think so. This tool automatically launched. Yes, it's launched on the background. Here it is. So after installing this software, you are able. Then you are able to. Uh, to see your project file known as remit project or you have whatever you have the uh, file of the pkt format just after installing the form uh, after installing the software then you are able to see your project thank you good morning class uh, this video is for the project work to open the project work you first uh, go for a recording with you or uh, how to install the software the recording of the software is uh, okay the I will place the file over here. After installing the software, you will then you are able to open the uh, VPN project. Okay, just click on the VPN project and you will pop up the screen like this. This is your the VPN project on the banking. Uh, the whole project is this, right? Uh, to zoom in, you will go for uh, this symbol. For zoom out, you will go for this symbol. What are the main purpose is this? This is an SBI branch as it is written over here. Right? This is also SBI sub branch. Uh, second branch of the SBI. Then we have our PNB uh, sub branch and we have PNB main branch. After that we have uh, HDFC main branch and HD HDFC sub branch. Right? Uh, we are using the network ID of 68.0.0.0 in HDFC sub branch and we are using 97.0.0.0 in HDFC main branch and over uh, PNB we are using network ID of uh, 22.0.0.0 in PNB main branch and PNB sub branch we are using uh, uh, we are using it is not mentioned over here let me see what is the is 25.0.0.0 to write over here, make the note 25.0.0.0 slash 24. It's done. 25 is in here. Right, 25. In upward, we have SBS subbranch and we use 21 network and they have used 26 network. And we internally we using a uh, route, uh, we using uh, OSPF network to get routing to check the routing uh, go for CLI uh, press E enable enable EN EN for enable then go for show IP protocols 
you will get to the uh, in this topology we uh, config configure ospf number 10 and these are network topology networks which i mentioned over here in area 10 right and you will get to know how many networks are there for that uh, uh, write the command show ip route in this command you will get to know how many networks are there which are connected to me these all networks are connected with me if there is a uh, suppose uh, suppose let me suppose uh, if i want to ping the pc over here to the pc over uh, in pnb main branch let me show the ip of this uh, pc is um, 27.7 22.0.0.7 okay and i want to ping from the, uh, this end go to command prompt click 22.0.0.7 and press enter if the reply came to me from the same IP then my eligibility from uh, as uh, from SBI's main branch to the PNB main uh, PNB main branches connected let me see for the uh, reply it will take few minutes actually the network design is very huge so that's why it's taking so long to perform a ping operation I'll, as you see the first pack is get dropped you guys time out as it was a huge topology that's why it's get dropped the first packet is got wrong i think so from the next next packet we will get the reply from the ip we are pinged yes uh, that's it reply from the same ip in which we have to, we want to try to ping all three packets uh, other than three packets will get we will get the reply to do the same we have another method place this packet over here here and there go for simulations and press capture the process will be shown to you in this manner the packet is going to, uh, to switch to routers router to switch switch to router to then router right so in this manner you will get to know okay, how the packet is going from one end to another end uh, in your uh, college vivas you will get, you will ask the question what is switch what is router what is a server what is a pc what is an ip4 ip6 address go for website uh, known as india bucks india uh, go for this uh, uh, website uh, and search for networking questions you will get your number of questions you have you just go through once you will get to know what is different between router and switch uh, the main difference between router and switch is that uh, switch is connected in a LAN network means if I want to uh, add more and more PCs in a, in a location we use switch switch work as an extension okay uh, and router is used on WAN networks well to connect a different network we use router and to connect in same network we use a switch this is the main function between router the main difference between router and switch right so there are number of routers are connected to perform a routing between different different banks with different different ip addresses so the, oh, this is a whole for your project best of luck for your internet viewers and if you have any uh, doubts go for indiabugs.com thank you